Greetings from the medicine cabinet. I'm Chill Pill, and this is Not Bad, the show where I take songs I previously disliked and see if I like them now. Kicking off our next split episode, we actually have a cover of September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. This cover is by Conroe. I didn't feel like this was mastered as well as Conroe's previous tracks, and Conroe tends to be quite a hit maker for me. I mean, I really liked I Wanna Know and On My Way Up. And when he started to move away from Future Bass with the stuff that he was coming out with more recently, like Trippin' and All Eyes on Me, I also really liked those. And I thought it was a nice nod to include Way Up by Conroe and Nev on his latest EP because it kind of paid homage to his Monster Cat roots. I say Monster Cat roots because technically his roots were making Electro. All that's to say, Conroe is a great artist. Unfortunately, September just fell flat to me, which is understandable because it's just a cover and not an original song. But let's see if his take on this classic by Earth, Wind, and Fire is something that I end up enjoying. Yeah, this is a fun start. Ooh. The way that the noise led into the trumpets was very good. Ooh, good job on the bass lines and like the percussive. Was that a guitar or? His transitions are really good. And Conroe, of course, his vocals are great. Yeah, Conroe is just a great vocalist and a great producer, so he's been doing a good job so far. Oh, okay, kind of stuttery and then going Starting the elongated parts of the melody with syncopation da, 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 da. I like that thing he did in the background This is very energetic. I love that. The I can see that he had fun with this. I love the starry kind of percussion that he transitions with in a lot of his songs. Oh, that's a cool build up. Okay, this is fun. I do notice that the vocals are a little bit... How do you say it? They, they don't sit in the mix as well as they could with some better processing. Perhaps the reverb didn't quite work. I mean, it did, to an extent, not to its full extent. Oh, some lo-fi on the vocals. I love when songs end like that, putting lo-fi on the vocals and then just leaving you with that 
kind of bit crushy sound. Uh, yeah, this was pretty all right. I think that the things that I had problems with when I first listened to it still stand for me, but not to the extent that they used to. I really appreciate that Conroe took this fun song that his vocals really lend themselves well to and brought that signature style that he brings into all of his songs that he's even brought into his songs before his house era. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It was a pretty good song. I'll give it the credit that it's due. I'm just going to be honest with you guys and say that I don't really have a lot of hope for this song. <laughs> But people seem to like it. I didn't really see the appeal, so maybe I will see the appeal. Uh, this one is The Government by Stonebank. For a long time, Stonebank was my favorite artist on Monster Cat, and I still think that he's quite a solid artist. I really liked his hardcore around when people were getting tired of it. I'm not as big a fan of his hardcore now that he's putting out. And I think the start of me not really liking his hardcore was with this song, because I really enjoyed Sky is Falling and Ripped to Pieces. And the theme was cool and everything. The fact that it was like kind of starting the mindset of an insurgency against the government. The problem was I felt like it was kind of misplaced. Like it wasn't as applicable to the song as it could have been, kind of like The Entity by Stonebank, which doesn't make the theme or the execution of the theme bad necessarily, it just makes it not necessary. My main problem with the song though was probably the screechiness of the song. Like I can deal with screechiness, but not to this extent. But as I listen to the song, let's see if I'm in a bit more of a screechy mood. This intro is classic Stonebank. And the emptiness works as an intro. I like the That's a build up. And that screechiness does a good job to serve as the intro. I love this part, this is cool. This is filthy in the best way possible. And I love the melody that he intersperses here. Very simple, but works very well. And the little things that he does too are good, like the fill. Yeah, this makes me feel very uneasy but not in a bad way at all. You know, I kind of want this to be a dubstep song, if I'm being honest. Some Stonebank dubstep would really do well with this. See, the screechy stuff is not unbearable. It's mixed quietly enough in the mix. Just feel like maybe there's not enough in the mid part of the percussion. Oh, but that bass line is so cool. Oh, and the stuttery part of this screechy part. The stuttery part of the screechy synth, whatever. That's just cool, this part. I don't know what words to use. He uses this screechy synth in so many cool ways. Ooh, this plug. Oh, nice horns. This is not the direction that I thought he was gonna go, but this is good. This actually works better with the theme than I thought it would. This is pretty epic. Perhaps this is a 
case of me judging the song as a whole because of the drop. And one part of the drop at that. I would use this sound in a build up instead of a drop. Oh, I realized that was. Yeah, here we go. Let's go back to this part. I like it. I like when, you know, if a song does something I don't like, it at least goes back to the part I like about it. Ooh. Oh, those growls are cool. As a whole, Stonebank did a very good job with this song. The only thing is, since I didn't like a specific part of the drop that is actually more prominent than other parts of the drop, that's going to take off some points, but not all the points. Stonebank did something here that I kind of wish all artists would do at least at some point in their career, which is to take something that people may not like and use it in a different way. Sometimes artists can take one little part of a song and use it in so many different ways that it either confuses you or makes you cock an eyebrow a bit, but Stonebank didn't do that. He did a great job with using it in different ways that worked. The prominent part of that sound didn't quite work, but the different ways that he used it throughout the song did work. I'm glad that Stonebank wasn't just sticking to a formula here and he was really trying to do something that would push the enjoyment level of listeners. Very gutsy move for Stonebank to release this and very good job on Monster Cat's part to get this on their label. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I will give the government a... 7.5 out of 10. I'm feeling generous, especially since the midsection was so good and the intro was so good and he did a lot more things in the drop that I liked than I thought he did originally. I really wasn't very optimistic about the song, but now I certainly am. This is definitely filthy. It doesn't even feel like he goes really all out with any of the sounds. Like none of them, none of them sound like they want to be there. But there's some charm to it. 